next story. SeattleTimes.com Anguish bougies weep while eating. Distressed that others go hungry. Maris Crane. 3 to 4 minutes. In the affluent heart of Seattle, amidst the clinking of champagne flutes and the murmur of polite conversation, a peculiar phenomenon is taking root. Diners at high-end restaurants are succumbing to bouts of uncontrollable sobbing while enjoying their meticulously crafted meals. While the cause may appear baffling at first glance, a closer look reveals a deeply concerning trend. Empathy-induced emotional distress. These self-proclaimed bougies, a portmanteau of bourgeois and empathetic, find themselves overwhelmed with sorrow and remorse every time they sit down for a meal. Acutely aware of the vast swathes of humanity grappling with hunger and deprivation, their heightened empathy compels them to confront the stark reality of global hunger, painting a vivid picture of suffering in stark contrast to their own comfortable surroundings. It's a terrible feeling, confides Sarah Thompson, a regular at an upscale French bistro. I can barely take a bite without being bombarded by images of starving children. The juxtaposition of my meal and their plight is simply unbearable. You can't worry about every damned thing, continued Ms. Thompson, and yet. It's not just about feeling guilty, explains Marcus Ramirez, a philanthropist and founder of a tech startup. It's about recognizing the immense privilege we have and the responsibility that comes with it. How can we enjoy our meals when so many are going without? We waste so much food in this country, yet, people also starve, right here in this country. How can this be? Mr. Ramirez lamented beginning to sob again. Experts attribute this phenomenon to a combination of factors. The rise of social media exposes individuals to graphic portrayals of global suffering on a daily basis. Additionally, a growing awareness of ethical consumerism compels individuals to grapple with the inherent contradictions of their lifestyles. These individuals possess an exceptional capacity for compassion, explains Dr. Ian McDonough, a psychologist specializing in empathy-related disorders. However, the constant barrage of negativity can overwhelm their coping mechanisms, leading to emotional breakdowns. The impact of this phenomenon extends far beyond individual diners. Restaurant owners are grappling with the unexpected downturn in ambiance and customer satisfaction. Wait staff, unaccustomed to comforting patrons shouting and sobbing over foie gras, find themselves ill-equipped to handle the emotional outbursts. It's certainly a challenge admits Michael Ignacio Rossi, owner of a popular Italian restaurant. We're trying our best to be supportive, but it's not exactly something we were trained for. While the solution remains elusive, some experts suggest that bushy weepers may benefit from seeking professional help to manage their emotional responses. Additionally, promoting mindful consumption habits and advocating for systemic change to address global hunger could provide a sense of agency and alleviate the burden of individual guilt. The phenomenon of bushy weepers lays bare the complexities of navigating empathy in an interconnected world. As we strive to create a more just and equitable society, addressing the emotional toll of such awareness becomes an imperative alongside tackling the root causes of global suffering.